You can now upscale your footage locally to HD, 2K or even 4K resolution. Our workflow will break down your video into smaller segments and upscale them tile by tile, making it easier for your computer to handle. It uses generative upscaling, meaning it will actually generate new information into your video, making even pixelated footage like this usable. We built this workflow to switch over from subscription-based paid tools, which this workflow also outperforms in many cases. And now we're giving it to you. So here's how you can upscale your footage free and locally. This workflow is based on the 1.2.2 video model that lets you generate 720p videos for a maximum of 81 frames, which is by far not enough resolution or time. So to fix this, we built a custom workflow for ComfyUI, a free node-based interface for AI models, and to install it, you can just follow the guide on our website, links below. Once you have it installed, you just need to download the JSON file and drag and drop it into the ComfyUI interface. You'll need to install these missing custom nodes. Do that by going to the Comf UI manager, install missing custom nodes, select all of them and click install. Once it's done, restart ComfyUI and the full workflow is here. Now we need to download the actual models for this workflow to work. And you can find all of them to the left here in these yellow nodes. First, we need to decide which kind of base model we want to use for this workflow. If you have a good GPU with like 24 gigabytes of VRAM or more, you can use this FP8 version of the model, which will be just a tiny bit faster. To use it, you need to download it from this link and put it inside of ComfyUI models, diffusion models, then load it here connect this model to this node right here. But in most cases, I recommend using the GGUF version of this model. You can find all of the GGUF models right here. GGUF is basically a way to compress model size so that it can run on GPUs with lower VRAM. This will cost you some quality, but usually it's not that bad. You can ignore all these high noise models here. We just need one low noise version. Check how much VRAM your GPU has, and then you select one of these versions that comfortably fits onto your GPU. If you only have 12 gigabytes, of VRAM, check out the Q5 versions, but I'm going to use the Q8 version, just download that and put it in ComfyUI models unit. Make sure it's selected right here. Next, we're going to use the LightX2 VLORA, which allows us to run this workflow at a lower step count, increasing performance by so much. You just need to download the low noise LoRa. Download that, put it inside of ComfyUI models and LoRa's, refresh and load it right here. The next two LoRa's here are completely optional, but if you're upscaling a lot of realistic footage, I recommend you get at least this one right here, the stock photography. What this one does is basically it just pushes the style towards more realistic video. Next, you need the clip model. You can get that right here, the VAE, put it in VAE and load it here. And next, we need an upscaling model. You can use any upscaling model here that you can install via the ComfyUI manager. I recommend really going with this one. So to install it, go to manager, model manager, search for X2, then download it right here. I already have it installed. That's all you need to do to set up this workflow. If you want to skip all these installation steps or maybe you don't have the most powerful computer, you can also run this workflow on RunPod. RunPod is a cloud GPU platform that we know a lot of you guys use. So we built this template for you that just starts up the workflow with everything installed for you. You just need to follow the link in the description, set up your account on RunPod, add some credits to rent a GPU. I usually run this on a 5090, which costs around 89 cents an hour. Now let's upscale a video. The cool thing about this workflow is that we made it as plug and play as possible. There is actually a lot of stuff happening in these groups here in the background, in these subgraphs that you never have to check out or open. There's a bunch of math happening here, but you don't need to care about that at all. You can just load the workflow and choose a video right here. Let's take, for example, this here. This should be a very good challenge. You can see the quality is just horrible and we're just trying to be able to use it. Next, you can set the frame load cap and this should theoretically work. You can upscale videos with any length, but this is really intense. So I'm just going to cap that at 81 frames. Next, you can come down here and this is where you set up the whole workflow. Put your final output resolution and I'm just sticking with 2K here. I feel like 2K is a very good starting point where it adds a lot of detail, but it also doesn't take too long. And then you can choose if you want to enable this here for higher quality. I would say this adds about like maybe 30% of quality but the problem is it takes like 
nearly twice as long. So I usually do this for smaller upscaling sizes like this one right here, 2K or HD. But when I go to 4K, it really is not worth the time. So I usually switch that off for 4K video. So here we have this creativity slider, which just tells the workflow how much it can change in the image. And I usually start pretty low, something like this right here. Finally, these are the iterations that the workflow will automatically create. So if you have a video that's longer than 81 frames, it will create multiple 81 frame batches and then blend them together so you don't realize that there are any seams. For me, it's 81 frames. Don't go above that, but you can go below that if you don't have the best GPU. 41 frames is also pretty good. And next are the overlap frames. So how many frames does this workflow have to blend these iterations together so you don't notice that there are any seams. We realized if you want to upscale really long videos to like 4K resolution, in the end, it can actually crash CompUI when it's stitching everything together. So if you activate this setting right here, you always have all the images that it already upscaled as a fallback. So you can import them into After Effects or your video editing software of choice and then just stitch the video together there. So now we can just click Run. And as you can see, it will automatically create a very detailed prompt for this video. If it's not perfect or you want to add more detail, you can come up here and manually input something here. You can also input a negative prompt, but this is usually enough. So all I need to do now is wait for this workflow to finish. Now, while this is running, this is a good time to mention that this workflow and video are sponsored by our amazing Patreon community. If you want access to exclusive example files, advanced versions and our amazing Discord community, consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support makes creating these workflows and sharing them with you all for free possible. And it also makes it possible that we don't have to rely on sponsors in every single video, which is just amazing. Thank you so much for that. 10 minutes later and the video is done, so let's look at the result. And you can see this was the original video and this is after, before, after. You can see how much detail it was able to generate, especially in the hair here, but it's still not perfect. We could improve this result even further if we allowed a bit more creativity. You can see the hair is now more detailed and the overall quality is higher. If you use a high creativity value, it can be more likely that you see these tiles here. And sometimes you just have to experiment what works best. But here, for example, I tried the highest possible value and I did not have the problem with the tiles at all. We also upscaled the same video using different upscaling models by Topaz. Even the 4K output from Topaz doesn't compare to the better 2K output from our workflow. Now let's talk about the creativity value. The higher you set the value, the more it will modify your video content and this might change your subject a bit too much. So if you need a super precise upscale that stays faithful to every detail in your footage, keep that creativity low. The trade-off is that you'll get less dramatic quality improvements overall. We also tested this against Flash VSR, another local upscaler. There is a version for CompUI, but it does not produce the best results yet. We recommend installing it via Pinocchio. Pinocchio is this one-click installer for AI tools and it makes the installation super easy. Flash VSR is great at precision. It sticks very closely to your source material. However, it really struggles with extremely low quality videos. But when we used 720p footage as input, it actually produced sharper results than our workflow could produce yet. But as you can see in this shot, for example, especially with the grass, it's also not perfect. So when should you use our workflow? It shines in situations where perfect accuracy isn't your top priority. For example, when you're upscaling AI generated videos or videos with very poor quality. In the these scenarios, our workflow outperforms Flash VSR because it can actually generate new plausible detail instead of just trying to preserve what's barely there. I hope you enjoyed this video and found these workflows useful. If you create something with it, feel free to send it to me or tag me in your work. I always love to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching and thank you to our lovely Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. See you next time.